What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jolison. The one mega I have never done a showdown live around is Mega Audino, and there's a reason for that. It's a very passive Pokemon, it doesn't do anything against offense, it can't really pressure bulky teams very well. I'm using a Fizz Dev set today because it can at least check Mega Lopunny and Garchomp, and because I have Wish Protect, I figured I'll at least pair it with a Steel type that doesn't get reliable recovery, so I can Wish Pass into Celesteela right here, so at least this off defensive core right here works really nicely. Tangrowth is able to take the Electro type attacks that Celesteela and Mega Audino both don't like, for example from Tapu Koko, Mega Manectric. Garchomp can also take those, but it's a little bit riskier because it does risk HP Ice. It is the stealth record for the team. The Choice Scarf is Superior because I figured I want a really reliable win condition that I know how to use, and Superior is just that right here. So we have Glare for speed control, it does help out Garchomp as well, and then finally Choice Specs Kelio, which I feel like I haven't used Kelio in a really long time, so I'm looking forward to this as well, and yeah, that'll be the team. Let's get started. Okay, I have a game right here. I feel like my Fist F Audino doesn't even take on Mega Swampert, but we will see. I do want to lead off with my Garchomp, anticipating Pelipper lead. Tornadus is not the worst thing either, unless there's the Icy Wind, which I don't think they would be. I think I'll just Continental Crush as they go for Hurricane and Mist. The damage was good for them, but I am able to get rid of Tornadus right there. That actually really helps out Scarf Serp. So I'm happy about that. Mm, big miss. I think I would have done like 45%, but it still sucks. They bring out the Tepu Coco next, okay. I'll go Tangrowth here, I don't want to take a Dazzling Gleam or HP Ice. They do go right for HP Ice, that, I don't think that would have O-Code my Pokemon, but it's okay. I can just click Knock Off here as they probably go Ferrothorn. They actually give me the Damp Rock, okay, that's fine too. And I will keep this and go out into my... My Celesteela here on the Hurricane, I can't let my Tangrowth take any hits. And now what I want to do is just... This Flamethrower. I didn't expect to be faster, what? Okay, so they're like really defensive on that thing. Tapu Koko comes out once again. I think I'll protect as they drop a thunder, okay. <laughs> Please don't paralyze my Tangrowth. Tangrowth is actually very vital here. Okay, they click U-turn, but like who even comes in, right? Pelipper comes in. I will never stay in. Okay, they click U-turn. Like, they're just wasting their own rain turns at this point. The problem is this can get a substitute up for free. Audino's not going to break that. <laughs> I gotta go Tangrowth. As they actually opt for hazards, okay. I'll click knockoff here. As they actually withdraw to Pelipper, interesting. I'll go to Garchomp because I really want my own hazards up. As they Hurricane confuse me, I mean, that's kind of justice for before, I should be lower, but ideally I'm still able to get my hazards up. I would be able to right here. I do nice. So that's really nice, and what I can do is just get in Tang on the spike, so they're hazard stacking. I'll click knock off on the Pelly Giga Drain right here. Be able to knock out the Pelipper. I might actually want to defog. But yeah, Audino has done a whole nothing so far. Are you really going for a freeze? Dude, get out of here. <laughs> okay. All that just to go for a freeze. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. This time we have Halucha Rain, which I think Mega Audino can deal with. The Halucha in particular. The Kingdra is definitely a problem. I want to make sure I play smart against that. They lead Tapu Lele. I do have to switch out into Celesteela. As uh, they create a Moonblast and get a drop right away. N probably not going to matter in the long run of things. I'll click Leech Sheet here as Pelly comes in. I don't know what Pelly player is trying to do exactly. Go to Tangrowth. Like, I, I don't want Celesteela getting burnt because that would be really bad against Lele. They go to Pharaoh. I'll just knock off. As they get up hazards against my team with no removal, that's kind of bad. I'm gonna go to Keldeo here and start to put on the pressure. Yeah, they don't really switch into this all that well. They can't give me this. I don't think they can afford to at all. They should switch out here. Because if they give me Ferrothorn, then Serp is just gonna completely destroy them. I don't think they can afford to give me this. I'm gonna click Hydro Pump. Dude, what? I don't understand that. It's still 2 with KOs and I ate that up, okay. So as long as I hit this, I'm still in a good spot with Syrup, never mind. But still, like, I don't understand. They go hard Kingdra, I mean, that's smart because it four times resists, but it still specs under rain, dude, what? Tangrowth can come in here, it takes, like, nothing from that Hydro. I really want to get up my own hazards, if possible. Just Giga Drain. Okay, I may want to add removal to this team. Maybe like defog over HP fire on Serp. Okay, I guess at this point what I'll do is just get up my own hazards. 
Maybe I quake and then do it, and I'll just go to Brox. They go to Pelly. All Swords of Dance here. They're gonna they're gonna go for the. Actually, I'm gonna Z Rock. I would have predicted the Ferrothorn, but like it's really not worth it. Because like they're gonna get the momentum anyway, whether I like it or not. What's the point? Hmm. Yeah, I might make it. Yeah, they go Pharaoh. I'll just quake here. I'll be able to knock out Pharaoh, but I'm not in a good spot. Like, I gotta hope that Audino can still take on that Halucha, and then Serp can come through after that. That's my hope right here. But uh, Swampert hits the field. This is an issue. I'll sack off my Keldeo. I'm really glad they didn't sub right there. And now what I can do is start to put on the pressure with this. Let's go right for Leaf Storm. Ideally, they stay in. Or sack off Tapu Lele, so that way I force the Halucha in immediately. Let's see. Garchomp is still healthy. That rough's gonna actually be really nice. Okay, they stay in. Beautiful. Because now I think, like, they have to go to Kingdra, and Kingdra would have to be timid to outspeed me. They go to Halucha without terrain up. I'm still gonna go out and out. This is way too good. They're going for it without terrain. 23, because they still have the item. I'm, like, very perplexed right now, but... I'll wish, and then protect. Like, what is what is happening on my screen? If they SD again right here, would that be that bad? I'll protect. They do click SD, but, like, they don't have their thing. I'm so confused. Yeah, I, I, I won this, because all I have to do right here... Sack this off. Go to Serp. Click Leaf Storm. Pick up my kill. Why did this guy go for it without terrain? I wanted to see if uh, Audino could take it on under terrain, but I guess that's not happening. Yeah, they suck the Lele. They switch out the Pokemon that dies on entry, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what this game was. Like, this end game was so confusing. Tangrowth is healthy, right? Yeah, my player is Sagar Chump. Go Tangrowth. Knock off the specs, I believe. Or a Giga Drain back. Yeah, I think I just Giga Drain and beat it with um, Celesteela. Yeah, Celesteela comes in. Celesteela does take one of these, so I can just protect for a bit of recovery and then knock it out with the uh, Heavy Slam. So I don't know what that endgame was by my opponent, but I will be right back. Okay, this player has Mega Lope on you, which Audino can take on if I Mega Evolve it. The problem is, I need to Mega Evolve it on something else, because I can't hard switch in a normal type to that thing. Unless I'm really calling the return, but that's not worth it in my eyes. I'll eat Keld. I'll switch out into Celesteela. Let's see. I have Tangrowth for Gren. They SD right away, but they can't Oko me with anything except for All Out Pummeling, which I gotta check if that actually Okos. Because I feel like if it does, they have it. Like, if they Swords Dance right there, there's no reason that they wouldn't have it, in my opinion. So, plus two, yeah, that'll loco. I have to protect. They didn't have it, okay, so. At least now we know. I don't know why they Swords Danced then, but... I mean, hey, it's fine. I do want to trade Hazards, if possible. Yeah. Because, like, my endgame right here is clearly just try to get a Brox and pressure Jirachi. They go for U-turn, take a bit of chip there. That's good for me. If I were them, I would have just Earthquaked, but... Okay, that works out. The Celesteela is actually going to give them a pretty hard time as well. Let's see, Greninja comes in here. I have Assault Vest Tang. We get to find out if this is Protean or Battle Bond too. Hopefully they don't spike on me. Okay, yeah, because this team still has no hazard control. Like, spikes could be bad. Hmm... They just made the safe surf. I'm gonna knock off here. So they go to Pex, okay. I like that play. I think I will go hard chomp as an offensive play. Hopefully they don't Scald Burn immediately. Toxic is not the thing I'm concerned about. Because all I have to do right here is Swords Dance. I don't think they would make an offensive play to Gren or a Cart. It wouldn't make a lot of sense. You should go to Lando. I'm gonna Swords Dance. I don't think, like, what if I Earthquake and weaken that? I don't think it's... whatever. Let's go to Celesteela. 
I think they're gonna just attack. Yep, they do just go right for a Leaf Blade. Usually when you have a plus two Pokemon, people just attack what's in front of them, so... Yep, I can just Leech Eat here. I should have just Earthquaked, man. What was I doing? Okay, actually, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> because Serp is just going to have a lot of fun after I get rid of this. So let's try to wear it down with Flamethrower, I guess. They're going to try to pass a wish to something. Pass a wish to probably Lando, is what I'm thinking. I'll Flamethrower anyway. As uh, they Thunder Wave. I got a burn onto Jirachi, okay. That's actually really nice. I could see them double Thunder Waving. I could actually go to Garchomp. I think I will go to Garchomp. Just keep Celesteela for the Kartano. They switch out into Grand that turn. Mm. A lot of these odd maneuvers are working out. Like, I need to start making... Like, it's weird. Do I play more offensively and try to call them, or do I continue playing safe? Because I feel like the moment I try to play offensively, it's just going to go bad. I'll go to Tangrowth. Dark Pulse comes out that time. I'm just going to Giga Drain. I don't care if Toxapex comes back in. Yeah, they go hard Kartana. Like, what are these plays? I'm getting damage on this for Leaf Storm as well. Like, I don't agree with it, but I'll take it. I wish I had HP Fire right here. That would be perfect. But I do have a full health Celesteela around. They SD up. All I gotta do is hit a Flamethrower. What if this was actually all out pummeling the entire time and it just bluffed me until now? Oh, dude, what? Okay. Get out of there. So Celesteela basically did its job by dealing with that. I still want to have it around, though, as a ground immunity, if possible. But... Yeah, getting rid of cards is actually really nice. This probably... I don't think... Like, I've shown Protect, right? You shouldn't hide Gem Kick. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about just checking the, the Guard Chomp, then going Audino. No, Guard Chomp's actually good. I should sack Celesteela. I'll Protect on the off chance they click hide Gem Kick. Yeah, they're going for a return. Do I go Hard Audino on that? No, I'm going to go for the, the double. I do get full parried as they had jump kick there. Okay, that's fine. I think that my, my Scarf Serp is going to have a really good shot at winning this. Right here, I do want to go Audino. I already knocked off Toxapex, which is a bit annoying for me. Let's just Mega Dazzle. I think my play here is to go Garchomp. Or I sack, then come in with Garchomp, because I need this a bit weakened. I could wish pass into it. Let's do that. They Scald burn me immediately. That makes me less of a check to low bunny. That's a bit annoying. But Garchomp comes in on Scald, right? There's no way. Like, it's Toxic X. It's so weak. Yeah, I, I come in easily. Yep, I do get my, my boost back. And I like the idea of Swords Dancing on that Lando this time. They're going to go Lando this time. I have no doubt about it. Yep, got him. And now I can click Continental Crush at plus one, and ideally I'll be able to get rid of this or put a huge dent in Jirachi for Superior. That's the plan. Yep, I'm able to basically get rid of Jirachi there. I will just Earthquake, actually. Like, I'm not going to try to let it wish. Although, I actually have no reason not to Stone Edge, because if they wish, they die to the... Not just Earthquake. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want them getting a wish up. Yeah. So... At this point, as long as I hit Leaf Storms, I think the game is mine, but hitting Leaf Storm. Easier said than done, always. Let's go Tangrowth here on the Lope Bunny. I think I just want to weaken this for Serp and then try to get into Serp now. And the sooner the better, right? Yep, that's in range. Ideally, they're able to knock me out with this next one. Like, here's the thing. If I... Okay, that's actually not what I wanted. I wanted to... Um, have the knock me out there, then Serp comes in and wins the game. But the thing is, like, the only thing I actually need gone is Toxapex and then Keldeo solos as well. I'll, I just need to not miss against the rest of the stuff, but they run. I'll be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. I actually need Garchomp to beat the Mega Venusaur. I won't be able to beat it otherwise, so that's something I really have to keep in mind when getting a Barox, when trying to maneuver around with it. Let's lead off with my... Oh, this one's actually really bad, huh? Magnezone Trap, Celesteela, then Weavile just clicks Icicle Crash through my team. I don't think Audino takes that on. 
Kamo, oh, I can use Adeno for, but if it's Poison Jab at plus one, that's really bad as well. Mm. I think I could try to catch Venusaur with Keldeo before it Mega Evolves, but that's all I can think of here. Let's actually try that immediately. Keldeo Risk Heart. Let's go to Celesteela. Mm, would they just double to zone here? They shouldn't. Yeah, they just make the safe Leaf Blade play. I think I got a really free Flamethrower here. As they go hard zone, I get a crit as it comes in. In case it- well, actually, they can't substitute, so I'm going to protect here. As they Thunderbolt- I'm pretty sure I live even a Specs hit right now, so... They were Scarf. Okay, good. That's really nice to have that out of the way. And Celesteela is still somewhat around. The problem is that Cartana just became a big issue. Also, that Venusaur, man. I don't know. Like, that Venusaur is the big thing. I can beat everything else using Glare Serp for the Komoo plus Mega Autono. I can beat the Weavile using Keldeo. Can they go Weavile. Do I just let this go down or do I get let Keldeo to get knocked? Or do I go hard Autono? You know what, Autono? Show me what you can do. 34. That's good enough. Let's wish up here and uh, I'm going to pass it to Mega Archump. I will boost alongside you, dude. And now do you want a plus four hit? Let's find out. Nope, Komo'o did. Okay, so I get rid of that. Kartana comes in. I still need this. Like, it's my way of beating Venusaur. They banded Sacred Sword? Okay. That's definitely banded, right? There's no way that's not. Uh, so in that case... I think I lose to Venusaur. <laughs> Garchomp's not healthy enough, and it's Curse Mega Venusaur, which actually wins. That's a better set for them. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring this out. And I'm going to glare into that Venusaur coming in. They uh, go Weavile. So, I don't know, once again. Full para. I need to glare into this Venusaur. Okay, yeah, they make the smart play. Did I die? No, they got full paired on a Pursuit, okay. I can still wish past a Garchomp if necessary. Yeah, they know they can't let me wish pass to it. They're gonna attack here, no doubt. Let's go Serp. They actually didn't attack, I'm gonna glare it though. Okay, there's that, and then uh, I just need to hope I hack through this. There's this, can I, can I get some luck? Okay, that's, that's a good start, but it's not, it might not be enough. Uh, what's my best play? I think I'll, my, what I can do right here is just go out into this and hope that I can 2-it KO with Surf and they get full parried this turn. It does 2-it KO, they don't get full parried. I gotta hope for this. They made a mistake by letting me glare it, in my opinion. They go for Petal Blizzard there. What's the next best bet? I guess it's trying to boost up with this right now. 9, full para. 19, full para. The next one's gonna kill. Alright, we beat it. The thing is, okay, this dies in one. Dude. Okay, I, I hexed through the Venus, so I can't complain. But I, I did win that game right there, had that hit. Do I anyway? I don't think so. This is banded, right? This is way too strong. I can HB ice this, but man, I, I really had that. And then I clicked Leaf Storm and missed. Go Giga Drain there on the Weavile coming in. Maybe I'm actually still fine. I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to put me in range of Smart Strike, but I'm not going to let that happen. Let's wish up there. Quick knock off here. I am healthy. They lock smart strike. I wish I was HP fire. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, because that Oko's and then this this will to it KO me. I gotta hope I crit. Yeah, crit wasn't even gonna do it. Man, that leaf storm miss really sucked, but um, I should have been HP fire. I guess if I had HP fire, I wouldn't be able to beat the Lando anyway, but that is unfortunately going to be an L. I'll be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. My opponent does have a Calm Mind Megalatia, so that thing is an issue. How do I want to deal with that? If I was a Dragon Pulse Serp without the Choice Scarf, that would be perfect in this game. Hmm. Let's get Keld against Gran. I can actually take this on. I'm gonna Icy Wind. Okay, so I get a lot of damage into Lottie immediately. That's really nice. I'll click it again too. Like, they're risking crits here by roosting up. How long do you want to do this for, dude? 
You're risking a lot here. 38. Okay, at this point, I think I should get out of here. Let's go Audino. Okay, it's, it's Thunder Wave. Uh, let's Dazzle. I don't actually like that play. Let's Dazzle, actually, yeah. As they go to Pharaoh. I can see this game being annoying as well, but if they get if they let me get rid of this, then I win with Serp. So I think all I want to do right here is get up rocks alongside their spikes and then try to pressure Pharaoh the entire game. They should switch it out here into Lando. Just because I could have a fire move for all they know. But they don't they don't respect it. I don't understand. But I'll just earthquake it down now. They go to Lottie there. Does this have Ice Beam on its slot or not? It does, okay. I'm going to go to Celesteela here on the Pharaoh and just Flamethrower. As the Chomp comes in, I can just Leech Eat up on that. I like the idea of just Heavy Slam here. As Clefable comes in, ooh. It's Double Thunder Wave for sure, but I'm going to kill this. No, dude, you're not recovering this. Get this out of here. My game plan is all I need to do is pressure this Serp and find out whether they're Granite Scarf or not. Which I guess I'm about to do. It probably is Scarf, but they've sort of compromised their situation by doing this. Thunder Wave Megalotti, huh? I'm actually not too worried about that because I can leech... Actually, I was... I really, really love to hit that, by the way, but I didn't want to take a Thunder Wave, and now they're going to throw off a Thunder Wave here, and that's going to be really annoying. Yep. Okay, let's wish up. On a Lando coming in. Okay, that's fine. Healthy as Lottie? It's a little bit too healthy. I'll go to Keldeo, though. Keldeo takes this. As they go to Garchomp, that works out beautifully. Because Lottie gets two at KO'd from that range. Clefable's in range. I always Icy Wind. As they risk Pharaoh, uh, I mean, I could have Secret Sorted for Serp, but it, it is what it is. I'll, let's go to Celestilo. They throw up a Leech Seed there. Let's just Flamethrower. As they go to Chomp. I think what I'll do is lead sheet up here, and then get in something after. I'll probably suck Audino, then get in my Caldeo again to pressure. Okay, they actually um, Z move immediately. I thought the Swords Dance would come out first, but yeah, I'll suck off my Audino here. As they go Pharaoh, let's wish up. I'm able to get a wish up before they die. And uh, I basically need to get this play right. Do I Icy Wind into the Lottie or do I Secret Sword this down? If I Icy Wind into Lottie, that's really nice for Serp. If I Secret Sword into this, that's really nice for Serp. What do I do? I don't know. Like, they should suck off Clef as a mid ground, in my opinion, but I'm going to Secret Sword. They stay in and they just die. Okay, I'm glad I made the Secret Sword play. So, I mean, now my Serp has a really good shot at winning this. I still need to get rid of Gren, though. Go Celesteela here on the Thunder Wave miss. And just leech eat my stuff back now. As they're able to just straight up knock me out with HP for ice, okay. I still don't think I beat this. <laughs> because Garchomp dies, Tangrowth gets a 1v1. Yeah, all I could think to do right here is go Serp, glare it, and hope it gets paired. Or I leave Storm on a miss. Okay, they actually suck off Clef. To get in who, though? Gren? It's definitely Scarf Gren, right? I mean, at this point, do I hope it's not? Okay, they go back to Slotty. I'll leave Storm here. As they do Thunder Wave. Yeah, this is what I was scared of. I don't think I can win anymore. Unless, like, if, Lott if S this can still beat the Lottie, then I can still win. And I think it can, as long as I don't get full paired or miss. Because it's doing way too much damage at this point. It will keep it low, and then I think the other, other members can beat these three. And by the other members, I just mean Keldeo. Yeah, I see, I see this. All I need to do... Okay, they don't need to recover it. I think I win. Because Lando comes in here. I just leave Storm. They don't even kill me. I got another kill. Yeah, I think I win with uh, Keld. Because they suck off Gren there. I gotta make sure they don't roost the Lottie. What it looks like they're trying to do here? No, they kill me. Do I have a way of revenging this without get losing the game? 
All I can think to do is go Keldeo and Icy Wind. Everything else allows it to roost. Okay, I'm doing 41. They're like, they're play. Okay, Icy Wind, right? That's how that move works. And then, um, yeah, I win. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got the sixth game right here. My opponent has a Celesteel Law of their own, which is actually a pretty big pain for me to break because, like, Garchomp and Keldeo are the two ways I can do that. Garchomp is fine, but Keldeo do just go talk specs every time, so Garchomp is very vital in this game. I'll actually lead Keldeo as they lead Lando because this forces them into talk specs, and what I can do is double into my Garchomp and try to get up hazards on that. Although, I mean, that's actually a bad scenario because if they live the Earthquake, then get up Toxic on me, that's going to be really horrible. Let's just Surf. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't really get that play when you have a Toxapex, but Cartona comes in now. I'm glad I thought about that. Like, that could have been really bad. They just go for their kill immediately. I'll click Leech Sheet here. Actually, you know what? I've already seen how this guy plays. He's, he might just give me this as well. Let's Flamethrower. No, he makes a smart play that time. Let's Leech Sheet here. Wear it down. I'm curious if it's T-Specs, actually. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't be T-Specs. Okay, they go for Scald. I'm gonna get in Mega Archump before the T-Spec goes up. Don't double Scald burn me, please. Like, just don't. <laughs> That's not necessary here. Okay, they, they do get in their Celesteela. I can just get a Brox on this and go from there. I mean, my team doesn't have Hazard Control, right? I would at least love to get up my own. Hmm. I, I want to kill this with S plus 2 Z edge, but the thing is, I don't want to do it while lead cheated, so I'm going to get in my Keldeo here on the heavy slam. And I'm just going to Hydro Pump. They might protect, but yeah, like this guy doesn't go Toxapex, I don't get it. I'll go Guard Chomp here in case this is protect. Which I mean, like, what? which ones aren't? Yep, there's the protect. Now what I can do is just Swords Dance up and... At least this way. Or actually, I could just fire off Z immediately. They might protect, though. They do go for Leech Sheed. I think I'll just Swords Dance. Ah, they got me. Okay. At least I got to fire off plus four Continental Crush now. I'm annoyed there. I could have won the game that turn by just clicking the Z move because Serp would have won. Yeah, and that does nothing. Ah, man. That's actually so bad. I should have clicked it the turn before, and I would have won this game. Let's click it here, though. If I hit this turn and they stay in, I still win with Serp. Dude, I, I actually still would have won the game with Serp. That's uh, really bad for me. Okay, let's go to this and lead cheat it. And then I'll get in Tang and knock it off. Okay, I need to somehow wear this down. Like, that's, that's really annoying, but... What can I do about it, right? Okay, they're letting me wear it down, which is really nice here. Let's go to Tango this turn. I don't want it recovering at all from this percentage. Yep, they tried to lead cheat there. Now what I can do is throw off a knockoff. It's going to come in really weakened now, which is really nice for me. They bring out their Tapu Lele. I do knock off choice specs. I will just bring back my Celesteela here. But, yeah, that, that miss was really frustrating because I actually would have won. I don't know why this guy stayed in again, like... Does he not recognize my Serpa Wincon here? Zamp doesn't trace anything that allows it to outspeed it, so that's what's so confusing. They bring in Pex. Is it actually T-Specs or not? Like, I just gotta know. If it's Toxic, I really don't mind at all. It's the Spikes that would be a bit more annoying. Okay, they get in the Celesteel up. I really just wanna knock this off. <laughs> Okay, they're letting me weaken it a lot here. I'm very happy. I will continue to weaken this here. That's all my team needs to win this game. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm okay with all of this right now. Let's click HP Ice again. Let's get out on that turn. Let's click Flamethrower here. Yep, I knock it out, and I think, like, this guy does not recognize that my Scarf Serpent is going to win if they give me that Pokemon. It's very odd. Now it's just a matter of connecting Leaf Storm, which... <laughs> that never goes well, but we will see. I'll have you slam here. I feel like they don't even kill me. Okay, I was wrong. 
this does die from 41, right? Because I, I might as well go for it now. The sooner the better. I don't want to give them any win con with like Zam, like subcom mind. Uh, yeah, it dies. I've knocked off the scarf too, so worst case I can afford to miss once here. But let's knock that out. They Hopefully they try to revenge me with Zam first. Yep, and all I need to do is hit this move and we'll just make sure that this actually okos. It does, okay. Serp, you have one job. There we go, okay. That crit did not matter, that always killed. That's not under terrain, right? Yep, plus two. 112 to 133. And they're gonna go ahead and DC. I'm assuming that means they're not coming back, but this game is over, assuming I hit into... I guess I could still technically lose if I miss into Toxapex, but... It doesn't look like they want to do that, so I will be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. This will be the last one. We're battling against Gen 6 walled by Lando offense, except this guy has a Mimikyu over what would be a Talonflame. What I'll do right here is lead off with... Why do I feel like this is just the freest lead ever? It actually is. Like, if they stay in, then I just Leaf Storm through them. And I have, like, the, the Audino for Dragonite. Or I guess I'll go Celesteela first, but we'll see. Hmm. Pinsir is a Pokemon. <laughs> they go for Taunt. Okay. Pinsir is indeed a Pokemon. 12% without multi skill, so. It's still not in my best interest to stay in here. That Pinsir is concerning. Let's go Audino. D's Dazzling Gleam here. I think I live plus one Z, like it's max fizz def. I don't know, please. You don't die to this. There we go. 46 is a very disappointing damage, I'm not gonna lie. I might have lost. They e speed there. If they have Dragon Claw or Outrage, look, I lose. <laughs> I just Z moved into a fly. What am I doing? Alright, alright, alright. I think I see actually what I want to do here. Let's go for rocks. Yeah, because... I'm assuming their last move is probably Earthquake, right? Now what I'll do is I'll keep this and go Celesteela on the E-Speed. Kill it with Heavy Slam. It's either Fire Punch or Earthquake, one of the two. It is Fire Punch, but I think the rocks is going to go a long way in dealing with Mega Pinsir. And I still kept Rough Skin, which is really good here. Azulf comes back in. I think actually I want to boost up again right now. Yep, there is that. I can just get my Leaf Storms going again here. Beautiful. Now I forced in Pinsir to kill me, which is exactly what I want. Yep, I forced in Pinsir effectively. Now I have to attack it though, that's the thing. Hmm, plus two. How big of a threat is that? I die, right? If I die, then I have to figure something else out. This might be over. Yeah, I die. The rough skin's not gonna help me at all, because I still just lose the game, I think. I can't PP stall quick attacks. I don't have helmet on Tangrowth. If I did, I would totally go fist def Tang with helmet here. Uh, I think I lost. No. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, I don't think. Hope they don't quick attack. Mm, no, let's suck this. I get my damage off, but I get swept, right? I guess, like, the only thing is hope Caldeo lives. Which it, it won't. Right? I don't think so. I mean, they should just leave it in, but... Okay, let's, let's just check. Caldeo. Oh yeah, no no way, I lost. Okay, yeah, I, I knew Pinsir was an issue at Team Preview, but... Like, I needed to use Audino to help out with the Dragonite, and that is unfortunately going to be the game. Would we have a loss that bad? You already know what we gotta do, that'll be the end of the video. I did hope you all enjoyed, you can find the team down below in the description. Mega Audino did do some work, it took on one Halucha. Granted, I think I remember that Halucha not being under terrain for whatever reason, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Later.